Hey guys, it's me, Astrid, and oh, I have bad news today. So, um, as you guys know, I just got the Signoti Swine Delight, and I've been so excited about this orchid. I've really been excited about this orchid, but I'm really upset because this orchid has put me kind of in a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, which was because I found a snail on this orchid when I got it and some bugs that I didn't know what they were, I had to repot it because if I don't repot it, a snail can just bite a hole through your spike and ruin it or get into your other orchids and spread their nasty little offspring throughout your entire collection or the mites I didn't know, I didn't want to take any chances with that. So I feel like I made the right decision in repotting a plant because I'd rather not risk getting my other plants sick, and I'd rather not risk losing the spike on this to snails. What happens is I repotted this, and it did not respond well to the repotting. Um, I'm new to growing this type of orchid, so I don't know their quirks yet. I don't know how they behave. So what happened is the, the old back bulb on it started to rot. You can see this is uh, mushy, not not good it started to yellow and I didn't know if that was normal or not because I know when these plants go into dormancy they begin to yellow in the leaves and that is normal but I don't know where the line is with yellowing so that was frustrating and then if you guys don't know Holy City Orchids Brittany she's wonderful and she grows a ton of catacetums and has really good advice on those said I need to cut the spike and Crooked Orchid cro 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 Let's have a retake of that. Crooked Orchids, Anna, she also said I should cut the spike. So I have two very experienced um, orchid growers who grow more of these than I have are telling me to cut the spike. And I'm so bummed out. I was told a lot of catacetum type orchids, which this is Cycnotes, but it's related, um, tend to go into dormancy after shipment, especially if they go into a cooler climate like mine. Um, so because of that, um, yeah, they tend to go into dormancy. So I got it, it wasn't in dormancy, I repotted it, it was wet, and then it immediately went into dormancy because I repotted it immediately after I got it, which is just like... I was doing a spike development video every day, um, it was coming along so well, and then this, the main bulb of the plant started to shrivel, and you can see how it looks like, uh, you can see it looks like the plant is wearing a t-shirt that's a size too big, um, or comfy size if you like to call it that, but it's, it's just not, um, as plump as it was. It's starting to thin out, and having this flower spike grow and develop is probably going to cause the plant to die, which is, uh, not, not a good outcome. I'd rather have flowers next year um, than this. So I thought that together with you, um, because it's too hard to do it alone, but if I do it with you, I can do it. Um, we're just gonna cut the flower spike. And please don't make jokes about this. You know who you are. Because I said do it. had so many buds growing so many buds and now I can't look at it <sighs> it's very sad because I said I was filming the spike development I don't want to just throw that footage away because I still feel like it's gonna give you guys good information of like how does the spike develop how do the buds come in because it did make some good progress and it would probably still be nice to show that so I'm just gonna go ahead and show it and uh, Wish you guys happy growing and have a nice day.